The ATP World Tour has this week descended upon the Californian desert for the 40th edition of the BMP Paribas Open, the first of nine Masters 1000 Series tournaments each season, with all the action taking place at the magnificent Indian Wells Tennis Garden. 46 of the world's top 50 make up an incredibly strong field, led by the defending champion and world number one Novak Djokovic, already with a grand slam to his name in 2015. This is one of the, the, the biggest events we have in sport after Grand Slams and the, the season started uh, fantastic, uh, I can't complain. I'm feeling good on the court and um, obviously I'm going to try to use the confidence uh, from, from those events and opening weeks of the season into Indian Wells and have another great tournament. Roger Federer has already captured two titles this year, including a win over Djokovic in their 37th meeting to earn a record seventh trophy in Dubai. A great confidence boost for the runner-up of 12 months ago. I came very close. I hope I can put myself in a position again where I'm going to be competing for the title. I know it's tough because these Masters 1000s, especially here in Indian Wells, are really, uh, really difficult. It's tough draws all around. So I'm really making sure that I'm very well prepared. I came to the West Coast here very early and tried to get in the best, the best shape possible. Three-time former champion Rafa Nadal is also back in the winner's circle this year after success in Buenos Aires ended a trophy drought endured since Roland Garros last May. I want to enjoy the tour again. Um, I'm trying my best to do it. It's true that uh, always victories and uh, titles helps. Buenos Aires was uh, an important win for me. Crazy energy, positive energy from the crowd there and just enjoying here in Indian Wells. Everybody knows it's one of my favorite tournaments and I'm practicing well, happy. Round one action began on Thursday with 16 matches from the top half of the draw, with the top 32 seeds receiving a bye to the second round, a host of different players were able to enjoy the limelight. Two Americans headline the action and a return to tour for the first time since August 2013 for former finalist Marty Fish. After overcoming recent heart problems, Fish had no worries finding the strength to recover from dropping the opening set to Ryan Harrison. Good reflexes. Harrison double faulted to hand fish the second set, and the 22 year old continued to assist his compatriot in the decider. <laughs> the former world number seven, Marty Fish, is currently unranked, but he fought back from a breakdown and had the momentum as the match headed to its conclusion. Oh, it's about a four hands. After saving those match points, Harrison dominated the tiebreak to deny Fish a successful return to competition. So, in the end, disappointment for Fish, but of course he hasn't played at this level for so very long. It's so great to be out there. Um, those are the situations that you work hard to put yourself into. Um, uh, and, you know, this is such a great event. I mean, it's, um, I got great memories from 2008 here and um, on that court. and, and uh, yeah, so it's, um, um, it felt fantastic to be out there. The first match of the day on Stadium One saw American wildcard Tim Smicek take on world number 40, Benjamin Becker. The German won their only previous encounter comfortably, but it was Smicek who made the only decisive move in the opening set. Oh, great tennis! A tiebreak was needed to decide the second set, and the world number 83 summoned all his strength after going 3-1 down. That's more like it. The American never looked back after that winner, reaching match point in an hour and 22 minutes. And uh, losing to Benjamin Becker in the Smitter. previous match up. Six this three, time, seven, six. he gets the better of him. Over on Stadium 2, Jan Leonard Struff and Thanasi Kokonakis made their Indian Wells debuts in a first World Tour meeting. The German dropped just three games in a Challenger Tour win last season. But teenage sensation Kokinakis demonstrated his maturity in the first set tiebreak. And already a break to the good in the second set, Kokinakis had the measure of his 24 year old opponent. Oh, that's outstanding. After just 88 minutes, Kokinakis recorded his first win at the Masters 1000 tournament to continue a fine start to the year. Really deserves his victory. The ATP World Tour will continue to showcase its depth of talent on Friday as round one action from the BNP Paribas Open will conclude with the bottom half of the draw.